Hey McFly subscribers, so I am going to be fishing today. Uh, he works at Leading Edge Archery and we were discussing whether or not I should be doing a, uh, a fly class, teaching a class. So he suggested that. So I'm going to be soon teaching a fly class, um, how to cast and, and fish at Leading Edge Archery. So we're going we're gonna to be um, going out scouting spots. Scouting spots and finding different spots that are going to be appropriate for kids. Yeah, cool. So, um, and it's going to be mostly young adults, but adults can jump in too, right? Oh, definitely. Okay. Definitely. Cool. There'll be opportunity for multiple different classes. Awesome. So I, I think like from 10, 10 years old up, kind of? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. So it's going to be a beginner class. Obviously, it's not going to be anything insane, but if this takes off and does well, then we'll do some more advanced classes, of course, maybe even fly tying classes. Oh, yeah. yeah. So... This is Leading Edge Archery. It's in Bernie, um, Texas. So if you guys live around here and you want to sign up with the uh, with the class, I'll give you their info. You can uh, would they contact you or the shop or me? Uh, I or? Yeah, I'd have them contact you directly. Me directly. Yeah. Okay, so contact me and then I'll let them know and then we'll get it set up. But we're gonna get out there and fish. It's gonna be pretty hot today. <laughs> it's the summer and it's been 100 and 100 degrees plus almost every day so we're going to try to hit up, up before it gets really hot in the morning so anyway we'll see you out there well guys we're out fishing this is one spot we're prospecting to see. A um, little bit of stuff back here, but we might be able to try to get this knocked down. I got a weed whacker. I can come through here and, and do it. Uh, but this is nice, um, good spot for kids to just kind of cast. They don't have to even get in the water. So um, again, it's not only going to be kids, but um, I think, um, you know, there are going to be some kids. So we got to make sure it's kids and adults can handle it. Well, we've seen some fish pop the surface, so. So it is a little stiffer, so it doesn't do well at f like close. It starts to really bend once it gets out further. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. When something's a little stiffer, you got it makes for really good long cast, but you're not gonna get you're not Oh! Got picked up. Good. You see that? I did. That was a good hit. Yeah. But it dropped it. Now, that's the thing is I've got a pretty hefty hook on this yes. and so the unless they really yeah the hook is you know it's beefy and so to be able to get a good um good hook set you got to really kind of get on it yeah it won't penetrate there's that fish right there here you, you get out there try to oh, hit them okay yeah yeah you could hit up all this around there this isn't a four uh wait forward line this is a double taper so I, I you know on this rod if i was to put the so it's great for nymphing but if i was to put like a a wait forward on this dude this thing would launch Oh, there we go. Good deal. That's small. Dude, I wasn't even doing anything. I was trying to get a knot out in the line. 
<laughs> it just. Hey, a sunfish. Jeez. Is a, that's a good one. Yeah, not bad. I mean, if it can swallow a game changer, and boy, did it swallow it. Do a little surgery here. That's not bad. They yeah, really do. They're, you don't have to do much. They just kind of, it's that movement, you know? Fish just go crazy for it. There we go. This is a good one. A little better. Yeah, not bad at all. Good. Oh, that's a good bass, dude. Yeah. That's a good bass. Funny how he hit. I didn't. I thought it was moss for a second. He just kind of. He didn't. Really good bass, look at that. Yeah, dude. Not bad. Oh, you're going back? Oh, sorry, man. Yeah. You were gonna take a picture? <laughs> sorry. Dude, that was a good one. And we were doing we we're doing soccer outside. Oh and yeah, we too really hot. Concerned. So I didn't video coming down, but there's this little kind of holdover pond here, and uh, Roger just got a bite. So what are you fishing? Game changer. Okay. Do you have it deep when you got the hit? No, it went too deep, but I am letting it sink just because. You got one? Oh, yeah. Ah, it looks like a good one, too. Dude, I don't know what this is. Oh, oh no. That looked like a sunfish. That was a big sunfish. Yeah. All right, guys, so here's another spot we're testing out. I'm not sure this is going to be for the class, just for oh, fun. Not for the class. This, is for this is just for fun? Yeah. All right, but yeah, so it looks good, though. So we'll see. Well, we've got someone else fly fishing right now, so we'll have to go up past them or something. Pretty day, though. Roger, you got one. Yeah. <laughs> you need to one. Hey, it's better than nothing. I didn't get stuck. Well, you... I count the one that you got earlier as oh. catching. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. There you go. Oh. <laughs> They're hitting it. Oh, yeah. There, oh. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do is get a little two or three weight up in Colorado when I was there and go fish the small little mountain streams. Oh, Some of them aren't more than like this. I mean, it's like this right here, Yeah. you know, and that's it, you know, it's not just a tiny little creek. But I mean, the fish aren't big, but you're catching hundreds of these little guys and they're fun on a little two weight, you know? 
real fun. Some of my favorite fishing, and they're beautiful too, the little ones. Oh, yeah. The wild trout out there, some gorgeous ones. Oh, right when it hit the water, boom. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even have a chance to... What'd you put on? Game changer, there's a bass. I think it was a bass. Kinda okay right here. You all right? Oh, I'm good. There you go. Got one? Oh, that looks like a good one. That's a real good one, man. Oh, yeah. No. That was a fat. That was a fatty, dude. Nice, Sonny. That was nice. There you are. Well, everyone, that was a good time. Uh, we caught, each of us caught some fish. Oh, yeah. I got a pretty decent bass right in the beginning there. So we explored some beautiful spots and caught some good bass and I think we're happy. So um, we're gonna continue exploring to find the best spot to be able to host that uh, class. But um, you know, I have a feeling that first spot we went to might work I um, and I, I think it'll work. And then, you know, once we go into intermediate classes, um, you know, something like this might be even really good. We were just discussing that. Like it's nice and shaded, it's really nice, um, but you do uh, got to get in the water so hopefully uh this works out so if you guys are interested let me know i'll let roger know and we'll get you signed up to the class um and we'll we'll um you know come and join us uh hopefully we can have a couple classes instead of just one but for now it's just one maybe we'll have to get a couple if a lot of you sign up so uh we're still debating on what the price will be but um we'll try to keep it as reasonable as possible so anyway i will see you guys on the next video now you guys go catch some fish